My name is Stefan Petrina, and at Red Barrels, I'm sort of the principal animator, the animation director. I'm the animator that has been here since pretty much almost the beginning. Generally speaking, I'm here to kind of ensure the, uh, the animation quality of the game. The designers have a game in mind with characters and rules, and I'm there to kind of help communicate those through character animation. I didn't get trained in how to become a director in motion capture. It was really when we decided we wanted to go forward with it, we had the option to maybe do we want to hire an outside director? No, we can do it ourselves. That's kind of what we do here at Red Barrels. We can do it ourselves. We were 10 guys in one room building out last one. How much more difficult could it be to go to a mocap stage and figure it out how to do it and do it right? Back, what's the word? I tried to tell you, I tried to warn you, but you're not listening. This is your last chance. This setup is for our character, Mr. Noakes, who's a, a, a lobby denizen. He's a character that you go and buy upgrades from, and he has a story to tell along the way. So today what we're going to be doing is capturing Tyrone, our actor, playing Noakes in Noakes' environment. For a shot like today, it's about a lot of body motion, a lot of attitude, a lot of micro movement that we're not always aware of when we're talking to people in conversation, but a lot of stuff that just gets captured automatically with motion capture so that when we feed that into our character and game, it has much more of an organic appearance because it's moving with all the little nuances that people move with. And then we have a lot of the big sort of identifiable actions, the gestures that go along with conversation. Well, maybe your dog wants to play fetch. Yeah. Go, go get it. Uh, yeah, buddy. We don't have anything like we've done in the past because now we're a new type of game with a whole new bunch of variables. We're exploring new tricks. Can we do the types of scares that we've done in the past but find a new way to express them in our new game? What would I say to fans waiting for the next game? Be ready and be afraid.